So what's most important about uh, innovations happening in money and payments today is a bunch of technologies that are starting to bring the traditional physical payment uh, instruments and credentials that are most of us use plastic today. So what we're doing is, is transforming what's happening with the last four decades of paying with plastic and also using those numbers that are on plastic uh, in the online environment, which is much less safe, to something that is much um, safer and faster, more convenient for consumers. So ultimately, one of the things that we're involved with at Samsung Pay is the ability to take all your credentials and digitize them into a universal credential manager that actually works at all the places that traditional plastic works. That requires quite a bit of innovation because when you're transforming what used to be on a mag stripe or on a chip card uh, that's read by POS to things like your mobile phone or your watch or any other digital device, you need to be able to solve some fundamental problems of how you communicate between these devices and all of the different kind of point of sales that are uh, out there in merchant uh, locations. That's just the beginning of once you're able to solve that particular problem, which is non-trivial by the way, because merchants have many different solutions. Um, some are older, some are newer, some have chip, some don't have chip, um, but you know, they're all doing transactions today. So how do you make sure that these devices talk to those? Once you're able to solve that fundamental problem, then you're starting to get consumers to trust in a digital wallet as opposed to a physical wallet carrying plastic. Once you're in the realms of a digital wallet, which means it holds all your credentials, it's not just payment credentials, it's your loyalty credentials, your ID, your membership, your insurance cards, and even going to your online credentials or how you access websites or payment sites or, or shopping sites, your username, passwords, your cards on file. So how do you take all of that and digitize it in such a way that it provides true value for the consumer? And when you can do that, you get to start having newer, faster, easier, and more frictionless way to conduct commerce. And that's when things become really interesting between consumers and merchants, when you have that digital, universal you know, wallet that you can conduct commerce with.